Dr. Shali. I'm one of the student doctors at the clinic. So today I've been asked to perform a lower limb examination on you. Um, but just before I get started, I just wanted to make sure I was talking to the right patient. Mm -hmm. So if I could just get your full name. Yep, Ruth Liu. Yeah, and uh, what was your date of birth? Um, 25th of July, 1999. Mm. And your occupation? Student. And were you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? Mm. No, okay. Um, so nice to meet you, Ruth. Um, like I said, a lower li limb examination today. So that'll just involve me having a look, having a feel, um, getting you to do a few movements, and I'll also be doing a few of those movements, as well as a few special tests mm -hmm. on your lower limbs, so hip, knees, ankles. Um, in order to do this examination, it will require exposure of the area that I'm looking at, um, but for today, just shorts is fine as well. Um, does that sound all okay with you? Yeah. Yep. Great. And I just wanted to assure you that everything that's done in this consultation will remain strictly confidential between you, me, and the treating medical team. Yep. But without further ado, we'll get started. Yep. Yeah, so first of all, I'm just going to have a look at your lower limbs, mm -hmm. um, and I will be reporting back to the examiner as I go, but if you have any questions about what I'm saying at all, feel free to ask me. Mm -hmm. um, so looking at you at rest, it seems like you're not in any obvious pain or discomfort at all. Um, you have a normal posture, um, and it doesn't seem like you have a particularly high or abnormal BMI. If anything, it's a little bit low. Um, just having a look at the, I guess, the hip, first of all. If I could just get you to turn around. Yeah, so if uh, Ruth wasn't wearing shorts, in particular things I'd be looking at would be any obvious deformities, which there doesn't seem to be any obvious deformities. You can turn around again. Um, the, I would be checking for any discoloration like bruising, if there's any scars or swellings, any redness or rashes, um, and also the muscle bulk, so if there's any wasting or hypertrophy in the area. If I could just get you to walk um, across for me, just assess Ruth's gait. Um, so there doesn't seem to be any abnormality of gait. Ruth doesn't need any walking aids at all, so no walking stick or four-wheel walker. Um, and there was no Trendelenburg's gait or um, any waddling gait or anything of normal. Um, if I could just get you to stand here for me, and I'll just... Um... Great. So if I could just get you to stand on one leg, and then swap, and then swap again. Yeah, so there was no dipping of either hip. That would be um, a, that would be Trendelenburg sign. So, all good. I'll just move to palpating around your hip now. So, are you currently in any pain or discomfort? No. Okay. So, just having a general feel over the area first. Seems like it's all the same temperature, um, and there's no obvious uh, swelling or abnormality. Um, did that hurt at all when I was touching? No. Okay. Um, now I'll feel for very specific landmarks, so first of all the um, anterior superior iliac spine, which is just there, moving along the iliac crest and feeling the iliac tubercle as I go, any pain or no? no? Okay, and then all the way to the back to the posterior superior iliac spine. Any pain? Mm -mm. No. Feeling for the greater trochanter, any pain? No. Okay. Um, so it seems like all burning landmarks are non-tender um, and ideally I would also palpate for the ischial tuberosity and the pubic tubercle as well, but we won't be doing that today. Alright, now I'll move on to examining a few of the movements of the hip. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll get you to do these movements first and then I'll do those movements for you. Um, so first of all, if I could just get you to, without bending your knees, um, swing your leg all the way up towards you, and then all the way down as far as you can and then other leg as well. Great. And now if you could Keeping the other leg straight, swing the leg out this way, and then across, yep, and back down, now the other one, across and back down, great. And if you could just move your feet like windscreen wipers, great. And then if you could just flip onto your stomach for me. Yeah, um, now if you could, keeping your knees straight, just lift each leg, yep, and down, up and down. Great, flip back onto your back. So it seems like your range of movement of the hip, including flexion and abduction, adduction, internal and external rotation, as well as extension, um, were all normal and symmetrical on both sides, which is good. Um, I'll now move on to doing those movements, if that's okay with you. So there's no pain or anything in your hip? Great. Um, so just relax for me. Same. I haven't noticed any crepitus at all. Yeah. Um, and I'll just relax. Yep. 
Yep, and I'll just get you to flip onto your tummy. Any pain at all? Great, feel free to flip back onto your back. So once again, range of movements was normal. Didn't notice any crepitus, so that's good. So now I'll just measure the lengths of your legs just to make sure that they're equal. Mm -hmm. So I'll start off with your true leg length. So I'll feel for the anterior superior iliac spines again. And then from the most inferior part, I'm going to go down to the medial malleolus. So that's about 84 centimeters. I'll just check it from the other side. Mm -hmm. And that's also 84 centimeters. And now I'll do the apparent leg length. So that's just from your belly button, which is there. Medial malleolus, that's 87. And that's also um, 87. So it seems like the apparent and true leg lengths um, are both the same on both sides. So that's good. So now I'll just do a special test um, on your hip. Yeah, it's called the Thomas test. And basically this tests for a fixed flexion deformity of the hip, which can occur in osteoarthritis. So what I'll do is I'll just place my palm underneath the curvature of your back, if that's okay, the lumbar spine. And what I'll do is, if you could just bring this knee up into your chest as far as it goes, but bend it, yep, and then back down. And now the other one, yep, and then back down. Yeah, so I could feel your lumbar spine um, go down into my palm as you brought your knees into your chest, um, which is normal. So there's no fixed flexion deformity. So those were all the examinations I wanted to do today. If there were any abnormalities, I would also uh, order some x-rays or some ultrasounds or some MRIs. Um, but it seems like everything's normal, which is good. Um, I would also assess for your neurovascularity, so sensations and pulses, but we won't be doing that today. So thank you so much for your time. I'll pass on all of my findings onto your doctor.